Assalamu alaikum. My name is Malik Najmu Siraj and I'm here to continue my previous lecture of uh, BitTorrents which is one of the uh, which is using peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Uh, so in previous class, in previous video clip, uh, I, uh, I talked about how the BitTorrent protocol works uh, theoretically. In today's, uh, in, in, in today's class, uh, I will tell you in detail uh, while uh, discussing about how BitTorrent protocol itself works. We will see this protocol in Wireshark and the different components of this protocol in detail. So uh, for, for this class, I am using this document to understand basically protocols. Uh, you can find out this document uh, uh, from, uh, from this website. Uh, I think so. From this website, okay. So, uh, so uh, you can use this document as a reference. I will also upload this document in my Canvas page, uh, so you can uh, have an access of that document. So, this is understanding of the BitTorrent protocol. We will look into the different parts of BitTorrent protocol. So, uh, this is some a little bit history of a BitTorrent protocol. Uh, so, these are the two types of network architectures that are used nowadays. One is a centralized server, which is using a uh, uh, a centralized method of communication there are clients which is downloading uh, file downloading things from the server uh, or uh, connecting the connecting to the server to get the services there's another architecture which is called a distributed structure and uh, that distributed structure in which these are the peers that can directly connect with each other to share something uh, uh, so this is one of the architecture we call as peer-to-peer -peer architecture so uh, uh, we talked about uh, previously we talked about peer-to-peer -peer architecture so we will go in detail about the protocols, uh, which is uh, one of the peer-to-peer -peer protocol is a BitTorrent. We will look in detail about the BitTorrent protocol, how it works, um, and how it forms, uh, uh, how different peer, how in this protocol different peers directly connect with each other and share some something among them. So before going in detail, let's try to understand different terminologies that are used. I will not cover all the terminologies, just I will give you a few, few terminologies. You can read other terminologies. One is called a block. We already talked about a block uh, size, which is a chunk size uh, while discussing our lecture. A block is a piece of file. When a file is distributed via torrent, it is broken down to a smaller piece of a block. Typically, that block is uh, this much size. But it can vary while you are creating a torrent, you can increase or decrease the size of a block. Uh, so, client are the BitTorrent software used to download or upload a file. These are the clients. Uh, other concept is leech or leechers, uh, usually refer to a peer that is downloading while uploading a variator. Once you are downloading a file, you are, but you are not participating in uploading a file, you are termed as a leecher because you are not uh, providing your services to, among other peers. Uh, to download that file, the uh, species of that file that you already have. Uh, so you are not providing, uh, you, you are debating the concept of uh, 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 distributed file sharing. So you are acting as a leecher. And peers are one of group of clients downloading the same file. Reseed, you can, uh, you can uh, read that terminology. So uh, one uh, of the important terminology here is a tracker. A tracker is a server that keep uh, that keeps track of the peers and a seed in the swarm. Okay, swarm is a group of swarm is a group of seeds and a peer sharing the same torrent. Once you are downloading the same file, uh, I will later on tell you. Uh, so all those peers that are downloading the same file are we we are called a swarm. So tracker is actually a server that keeps track of the peers and seeds in the swarm, which are the peers that are seeding. In that swarm, so a tracker actually uh, note down all those uh, peers that are in that uh, swarm. So a tracker does not have a copy of file itself, but it helps to manage the transfer. So it is the main thing, which is actually helping other uh, devices to get the list of the peers that has that file or chunk of that file present. So it is the job of tra uh, tracker. So protocol specification. So let's go in detail about the protocol specification. But before going into the protocol, uh, generally we experience this thing that once we are downloading a file, uh, so we need to have a torrent uh, with ourselves. What is torrent? Um, So 
so uh, uh, the, the, the BitTorrent protocol works uh, in such a way that first we need to generally we experience this thing that we need to download a file uh, with the, an extension called torrent uh, that file uh, is a binary encoded file and it has a specific data which is uh, uh, in this format so it has a dictionary it start with a d word and uh, you have key value pair it's a json type of methodology it has a key type value pair but it's not json uh, key value pair lists uh, you define a list with i and end with the e normal integer if there is an integer it is defined with small i and end with e uh, and string is like defined like this and it defines the size of a string this is the size which is, which says that this string is a seven bit number a seven, uh, seven character so it defines a string like this so what I did is I actually downloaded a torrent file and, uh, and this is my torrent file so this torrent file uh, I just downloaded a torrent file now I want to examine that file I'll, if I want if I try to open in any notepad I cannot uh, I cannot view what is the content of that file because uh, it's uh, hacks it's uh, so what we can do is I can open that torrent file uh, which is called a torrent reader uh, one such as a torrent reader so uh, I this you can go on this URL and uh, you can open this file so if I want to open a file I go to the downloads and then click on this file so edit it so it is actually opening a file and pick up uh, some errors so i just uh, it's not that thing so it it tells me that it has a tracker list of tracker nodes and there you are the url of the tracker nodes are this, this this these are all the url of the tracker nodes so there are many different uh, urls of the tracker node so uh, so my client can download a file from those tracker nodes so initially it needs to contact those tracker node and actually identify the list of swarms uh, list of nodes uh, from uh, uh, where it can download a file so if i go down there's another thing uh, it tells you that directory name so uh, this is a season which is blacklist season so i'm downloading the blacklist season uh, this tracker is this is this file is created on this date it is using a BitTorrent file and it is using this thing and the file name that it has are these are the file name that it have as i can download all these files uh, there are other hacks too uh, there are other tools that actually edit uh, or open a file in hacks and one such tool is you can also view that uh, file in hacks editor one such tool is this online hacks editor you can download that file and you can view it uh, you, you can find multiple other applications that actually uh, a hacks editor so instead of installing that thing i just uh, 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 open and on, i'm just using an online hacks editor to actually look into the content of that file so i click on open file and then i click on that file this is the torrent file so it says that this is the torrent file which is a uh, which is a hacks file so this is the content of that torrent file now if I look into this thing, so it has uh, initially it has D8. So in order to understand it, uh, D is a dictionary and a D define a dictionary. It has a key and it has a value and it ends with an E character. So I can explore this thing. D is a dictionary. It has a size of 8. So, uh, this is an 8 bit number. So, if I look into this thing, 8 character number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it has a key which is this key. This key, it has a key which is announce. Uh, so, these are these are the 8, 8. And then, this is the value which is the URL. Okay, and that URL is a 30 bit, 33 bit, uh, 33 character. This URL is a 33 character. So if I count them, uh, it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So it says that this URL is a, a 33 character. So it is announcing a URL which is http uh, exploit.org uh, colon 6969. 6969 is the port number slash announce. Uh, this URL, we already identified this URL while looking into this tracker, uh, exploring this track, uh, this BitTorrent file. So this is this URL. So next, uh, it says that other is a 13-bit number, other is a 3-bit number, 13-bit number. So 13-bit number announce, Ajayga, and then a, other is a 33-bit. So it has a URL like this. So we know one thing that uh, this key value pair ends at the uh, character, which is E. Now let's look at the E. So uh, if I look at the E, let's say, E is a 65 so if I search so I, I mark all those E's to identify this thing so uh, this dictionary actually ends at this point this dictionary actually ends at this point okay so uh, and then it has which is uh, L32 what is L if I look into this thing, then it defines a list which has uh, a list defined car of a 32 bit list, and that is again uh, uh, this is a list that is has a complete information of this file. So you can find out all those uh, tractor.t file.me, you can find all those things over there. So you can actually, once you look into this thing, you can find out all the URLs that are present here on that file. So it, it actually identify uh, this thing by the same methodology that I find out over there. So if you look into this thing, so uh, it has uh, A BitTorrent protocol specification is uh, the most pieces, uh, it divides the pieces into these sizes. Most of the common sizes are these are the sizes 256, 512, uh, or one, uh, 1 megabyte. Generally, there are these are divided among two key power sub numbers. So, these are the two power sub number. Um, uh, info defines the directory. Structure of a torrent file is uh, metadata, is info defines the uh, describes the dictionary files. Uh, announce describe the url of the tracker so uh, all those announcements that we see over there actually are the urls of the tracker so my uh, client needs to connect those urls to get that list of a file so uh, then let's see uh, So if I look into this thing, so it defines, uh, you can find out uh, uh, the season name and all those things, those things are there and you can actually extract them the same methodology that I'm using. Now once, let's say, uh, let's say I open that uh, torrent file in a software which is called a BitTorrent, but before opening that file in a software called BitTorrent, what I did is I start a Wireshark. So uh, I already performed this thing. So I started a Wireshark and uh, um, uh, extract all the network data on the Wireshark before actually clicking on a torrent file. So once I click on a torrent file, it open a BitTorrent application and start downloading uh, the torrent. Uh, but I'm capturing all those records uh, on, uh, on, on my side uh, in a Wireshark. So, uh, in order to look into the detail of that thing, uh, so first of all, I just apply a filter called BitTorrent. So, once I apply a torrent, uh, a filter of BitTorrent, it will tell you that uh, this uh, already captured 
uh, a protocol called BitTorrent. So uh, we will look into that protocol later on, but we'll first I will move uh, this thing slowly. So let's apply initially, if I look into my client that initially my client identifies, uh, my uh, client identifies uh, the list of tracker node, their domain names. So what my client do is actually send a DNS query and uh, resolves the IP address. That means that uh, my system actually once gets the list of the uh, uh, tracker nodes, it sends the it, it needs to get the IP address of those tracker nodes. So first of all, it sends the DNS query to those tracker uh, nodes. So if I look into the DNS protocol, so there are a lot of DNS queries going on, uh, and uh, uh, we can find out all the DNS queries for that. But uh, I just look into the few DNS queries that are. Uh, uh, for the nodes that are present, tracker nodes that are present over there. For the first is the, this uh, FQDN. Uh, uh, let's search out this FQDN. These are the DNS queries that my system sends, so it, it should have a DNS query for that tracker node. So this is the uh, this is the DNS query for that tracker node, expldiexploit.org. So this is the domain name exploit.org. So once it gets the IP address of this thing, uh, it establishes a TCP connection on port 6969 of that. So this DNS query is answered. This is the answer of that DNS query. So this is the answer of that DNS query. Uh, and in that answer it tells you about uh, the IP of the IP address of that or authoritative names, name server. So in this case it tells you about the authoritative name server of that uh, domain name. So once you perform this thing, so you will find out uh, you, uh, all those information uh, by decoding this thing. So the BitTorrent protocol is just like this thing. Uh, BitTorrent is uh, first of all BitTorrent handshaking, and then you request uh, uh, you have those chunks or not. Uh, so request chaggy and piece of data chaggy and code chaggy. So this protocol works like this thing. So first of all, this client sends a handshake request in which it is telling the info hash and the peer ID. So hash and peer ID it is telling the server. The peer other uh, uh, track uh, tracker tells the handshake info hash and peer ID, and then it requests the uh, uh, for the pieces uh, uh, to the server. So uh, uh, in response to that, server tells that it has those pieces or not and other thing. So this is how it works. So if I look into the BitTorrent. So this is a BitTorrent in which uh, this is a handshake request, this is the IP address of mine and this is the IP address of that uh, tracker torrent or uh, sorry this is the IP address of the peers so it, it performed the handshake and once the handshake is performed uh, 
So first of all, a uh, handshake. It tells you about the dictionary uh, SHA and uh, pair ID. SHA is the hash of that. Uh, so uh, this is a first handshake message that is sent from the client. This is the client IP address and uh, this is the destination IP address, uh, which is the peer's IP address. So. Uh, uh, the response of this message is, and then once it sends a handshake message, uh, it needs to support the replies back and it sends that I have none uh, and it is requesting a piece uh, uh, of those files uh, from their server. Uh, and this is how you can interpret it. Uh, it's just like this is how you can interpret it. So uh, it's an index of a piece indexer and begin offset. Uh, of the piece and the piece length, how many uh, bits of bytes you are going to download, bytes you are going to download from that. So this is how it sends the request to that server, that peer, and that peer actually reply back. This is the reply of that peer. It sends a handshake message and says, "I have all the uh, chunks," and uh, it, it then next uh, then unchoke it and then clients start downloading those files uh, from that server. So you can go in detail more, um, but uh, right now, uh, that's enough for us to actually understand this, uh, this little bit detail of the BitTorrent protocol. Uh, if we further go in detail, it will increase the complexity uh, of this protocol and uh, increase the toughness level of this course.